it's about uh, an expedition done in uh, Arizona in the Apache reservation uh, and yeah. not reservation Apache land uh -huh. and very dangerous in that time uh, it was an underground burial and Mayan and Aztec ceremonial ah. burial underground but he was then the Jesuit built their church over that entrance uh -huh. to because they didn't like the Vatican they never liked these things to happen yeah. they was afraid and it's got to be some truth gotta come and then Christianity will, will change yeah so they would like to find that and they hire some guides, some uh, trackers, and those guys is the heroes of the movie. Or uh, I, I think they gotta make a movie if he find the right guy yeah. like me. And then uh, they started, you know, all the preparation and they start to go. But how this find out the guy get uh, he get. Uh, wounded mm -hmm. in the river they he, they found him in the river with uh, some arrow and the uh, yaki indian bring to the priest uh, and, and uh, but in that place it was the first guy because it was another expedition 15 years ago by a german uh, uh, an austrian guy they came over there to do the same thing so when they find gold in that area, the whole people, they become berserk and the expedition, the, the word that they give to the Indian, mm -hmm. he says, don't go, this is the place I leave you to find the gold, met the, gold the yellow metal, mm -hmm. but do not cross this line because this is our uh, secret, yeah. sacred area. So they didn't do that. And they was all massacred. All my paintings, it's got their own subject. I, I write with brush. Mm -hmm. My memories, my friends, the world, my uh, the life I live, and the life I am living now. But most, if you see this work over here. Which one? All this work. Yeah. Are done by purpose. Uh huh. My father used to love play card. Yeah. This is dedicated to my father. Soon he gotta go home. Is one of those people your father? No, I didn't Remember? paint my father. Over okay. There. I have paint. My father is in home. I like that painting, very nice. Um, so yeah. that's dedicated to your father. And um, what this else? This one is, is a page of from the book. Which one? This thing. This this one? Yeah. It's a page from the book. Okay, can you tell me about this one? I show you the inspiration come from this page. So you made the book first and you made the painting after the drawing, yeah. is that the case? So what is, oh, yeah. it's that page, the left page. Yeah, this. Yeah. I changed a little bit around by putting a different... And what is it? Uh, what it's is the Apaches. Uh, the tribe is the uh, Mimbranos Apaches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's happening at that moment? Well, they... She's trying to cook something. Uh -huh. She's trying to cook something. It's a composition. I, I understand. And how about this one? This is the University Plaza in Istanbul. Ah. I used to go a lot to buy books and antique. Ah. 
university class, and it's, and this guy. And it's a cowboy, a real cowboy that I met in Arizona. It's a real cowboy I met in Arizona. That's my. Can you tell me a bit about him? Uh, what kind of guy was he? Is he? I look at his face. I know. I He's a practical it. joker. <laughs> Very sweet man. Oh my God! It's raining. Very huh? hard. Look at the rain. Wait, I'm gonna film the rain. It's suddenly raining very hard. Okay, we went in right so just at the right moment. Yeah. You come over here, you will see always people having wow, this one. fun. And this is? Yeah, this is in a fire, in a night, mm -hmm. night camp. This is uh, Camargue in France, mm -hmm. 200 kilometers from Paris. Oh, and I like that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a partial from a composi larger composition, mm -hmm. which is a very wise grandmother. She didn't know how to write, how to read, but she was so wise. I said, Grandma, I used to, when I have a problem, I used to go to her. I don't know what to do. Life is shit. Is that he said, Can you bring me to hospital? I gotta see a friend of mine. Okay, I told him, We went to the hospital, we went up and down. We didn't, she didn't see anybody. So where is your friend? He's not here, he said, he's dead. Why we came here? I show you the hospital. Let's go out, give me a cigarette. He lights a cigarette. He says, You see that place? You don't want to be in, right? No. It's two places in the world, there is no hope. One is the hospital, one is the jail. If you are not in both of them, get the hell out and do something. That was all. It's the most beautiful advice I ever had. <laughs> I said, you really, I'm not in here. What, what I'm trying, I'm 24, 26 years old, 24 years old, and then, I found a guy, my father's friend, then he was in the furniture business. He asked me, you're an artist, right? Well, I'm trying. He says, can you do this Italian furniture with the flowers and things like Renaissance? Show me one, he showed me one. This came from uh, uh, Milan, mm -hmm. it's original. Can you duplicate that? I said, I can do it. Was it painted? Was it good? Yeah, painted furniture, the lacquer, ah, yeah, the white yeah. lacquer. You know, this motif. Yeah, yeah, and then they paint this and motif on top. And then you paint the yeah. motif and flowers. Yeah. I said, give me a white piece of wood, mm. lacquer. I will try. And I try. I love it. Then I start to make those furniture, painted furniture. It was big money, it was just coming to Turkey that style. Mm -hmm. Aix-en-Provence, approximately in between. Ah, okay. I was working over there with the plumbers. <laughs> I did. And this one I like. This is also partial composition. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and that one. What is this? Call open window. It's the print of an oil. Uh -huh. I sold. It's beautiful. And what is, can you tell me about the image? What's the story behind it? It's an old man with a young lady. Ah, I don't see the lady. Where's the lady? It's in the behind the guy. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, oh yeah, she's at the table. I can see that. The snow skate. Black Sea, in Turkey. In Turkey. And how about this? That's a prostitute. Uh -huh. With a very interesting lifestyle. Okay, what's the story? Thank you.
<laughs> but people love the subject. The people get attached, mostly European. Mm -hmm. Mostly European. So we did a few big shows with uh, Baldwin Brothers. They opened a restaurant in Manhattan, Fifth Avenue. We did a great show for everybody. Another show here, another show there. So that's how it works. I don't know. Don't ask me. <laughs> I just went with the flu. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So now you wound up in Maplewood. Now I squeeze in that Maplewood. <laughs> But I have calm life now. You know, the adventure is all these things. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. I went to prospect gold even in that's that's the most interesting part uh, in uh, Sierra Madre. You went to, to look. Nerves. You went to look for gold. Is that what yeah, you said? But it was the first look for Sierra Madre when I heard. Yeah. In Smithsonian Magazine, Ned, come to Sierra Madre. I take the telephone. I call <laughs> the lady. I said, I want to come. How you come to the Sierra Madre? Where is the hell is Sierra Madre? I heard the name in a movie. Yeah. I says, you like to see America 150 years ago? That's where you gotta come. So he explained to me, he sent me brochure. It was interesting because their grand, they have from their grand grandfather fine gold and silver. Uh -huh. In the time, yeah. So he built on the top of the mountain a beautiful hacienda, but nobody went over there from the family. These two sisters, both artists, they took over and they paint a deep, so beautiful. Work. So they explained to me what I have to do: go to El Paso from El Paso, Chihuahua. They come to pick me up from Chihuahua, eight hours on the mountain. When I, in the morning, when I wake up, when you see the town from the city, what is this? He says, whatever we told you. So it was like I was married. I said to my wife, I'm not coming home for, don't wait. Me. I found something. Don't wait. Me. And it was so all these craftsmen working, jewelry, Indian. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't know their name, but uh, they was all businessmen. They full time talking. They got uh, you know the, the from Los Angeles, from other places. They bring the work, and they because it's still the silver mine working. Mm -hmm. But the gold. It was a seven eight Mormon family. They go with their truck with the. You know, they got the house in the back. Yeah. What you call the some sort of a, you know mobile house. Yeah. And they have in a spot when they search gold, like old fashioned way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I said, may I? Oh yeah, take. You can give me if you can. It's cold. The, the water is so the river is so cold. You cannot work so much. But I, I enjoy at least to do it. I didn't find nothing, <laughs> but uh, you know. But you got to do it. Well, yeah. I got these two sisters at least. <laughs> yeah. Having fun. <laughs> After two years in the Turkish army, I came out. I really didn't know what to do. How old were you then? How in old? Istanbul. How uh, old? I think no, I, I can tell you. Seventeen plus five, twenty-two. Coming back to army another two, twenty-four. 24. So actually, you were born in Istanbul. Yeah. 
and then grow up in the island of Istanbul. Yeah. And uh, the fisherman house, the wonderful. Hello, sir. Hey, Dr. Ron, I just Casey, wanted to say hello. You? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm fine. You doing okay? I didn't see you around a long time. No, I'm inside all the time. Get out. I, I, they don't let me out. <laughs> That's it. I'm out. I got to go back there now, but I have to stop.